welcome to my channel my name is Amiza before we start I know I am kind of late to upload this video so I am truly truly sorry for that I have to be honest I actually felt demotivated and also overwhelmed by social medias the last couple of days so I decided to give myself some time to um, relax and focus more on myself do whatever I enjoy doing at the moment I still however commit myself to bullet journaling mainly because I use my bullet journal for my work I just don't use it as much as I used to but anyway now I am back with another plan with me video for you guys my theme for September is moon it will be a month full of dreamy things moon faces and stuff like that and in case you guys are wondering the colored papers that I used in this video are printed on regular A4 papers but I will definitely put the code for each color that I used in this video in my description box down below I decided to use colored papers um, instead of brush pens or maybe Crayola because I wanted to achieve a more digital and consistent color for my whole setup so for this cover page I just um, sketch the moon uh, with some circle object cut it out and paste it on my journal after that I just went ahead and draw some leaves to complete the whole decoration it is a very simple cover page but I really like how it turned out moving on to the next page this is of course my monthly log the size for each box is 5 times 5 grids um, I've been using this layout a lot previously if you can't tell this is nothing new but one thing that I really like about this layout is it gives me so much space for each day for the dates I used three different Tombow dual brush pens which I already stated at the beginning of this video but in case you guys missed that the ones that I used are 026, 977 and also 992 On the left hand side of this spread, I just divided this space into two sections. Um, one is for the notes I have for this month and another one is for TikTok video ideas. Speaking of TikTok, I am now officially on TikTok. Um, I am still new on that platform but in case you guys want to check my TikTok account, I already have it linked in my description below. For the decoration of this page, I decided to include a very simple quote together with an even simpler drawing. The next page is my habit tracker page. So for this tracker, I am using the tracking stamps set from Notebook Therapy. This set has a total of 25 different stamping that are very cute and useful for your bullet journal. Not only that, the box that comes with the stamps is also very cute. I am constantly fell in love with this set the moment I laid my eyes on it. If you guys are interested to try this set out, the link to Notebook Therapy's website is included in the description down below as well. The next page is a one word a day page. This is a very useful page, especially if you want to try and experiment with different lettering or font styles. Someone asked me before, what kind of word should you choose for this spread? I would say I pick whatever word that I feel best describes my day. I do not really decorate this page because at the end of the month, this page will be filled in with different font styles so I don't really want it to look too crowded once everything is filled in. The 
the next page is just a quote page for the decoration of this page again i am using the colored papers as i mentioned earlier i want everything in this month setup to be more digital and consistent looking the design that you see in this video is inspired by a wall decor i saw on pinterest pinterest is my favorite go-to especially when i want to um, get some inspiration in general i can spend like hours on pinterest i just love pinterest to add in some details i use my fine liner to create like a washi tape effects on the top and bottom side of the page For the quote, I first use my pencil to make sure everything is centered before I trace it with my fine liner. The next and also the last spread for this month setup is my weekly spread. Nothing really fancy going on with this spread, but if you guys notice, um, I start the weekly spread with Tuesday because Monday falls on 31st of August and I don't really like to combine two months in one weekly if you get what I mean but anyway for the decoration of this spread again I am using the stamps from Notebook Therapist Tracking Stamps set So here's the final flip through of this month setup. I know I said it before but I really like how everything turned out. I think that's all for this time. Before I leave you guys, let me know if you have any questions and I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking this video and also subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.